Uh, Robert Grievous with Precision Personal Training. Um, just another update, a 101 on proper kettlebell swings. I've kind of gone over this in another video before, but I kind of want to go over it again. Um, a lot of people with their kettlebell swings, they actually don't hip hinge the proper way. They actually bend their knees a little bit more than they actually hip hinge. So most people will get a kettlebell swing, they'll get set up with their kettlebell here, and instead of hip hinging, they'll actually squat and swing, like so. So a traditional kettlebell swing, there's actually less bend in the knees and more bend in the hips, so it's actually a hip hinge movement. Okay, so if you're doing a proper kettlebell swing, the kettlebell's right out in front of you, you start with your feet about shoulder width apart, okay? Back is nice and straight, you hip hinge down, so the hips go back, there's a slight bend in my knee, and I grab the kettlebell here. Keeping my back straight, I start to swing, I thrust the hips forward, I don't pull the kettlebell up with my shoulders, I actually thrust my hips forward and come back down. I don't control this movement, I just follow this movement. If you notice, my hips are going forward and back, not up and down. Squat swing is not a bad movement, it's just not a proper traditional kettlebell swing. So make sure you're doing a lot more hip hinging and a lot less knee bending if you're going to swing this kettlebell. Okay?